With Server Assistant and Server Preferences, you can easily configure and manage Leopard Server so that clients may securely access the hosted services. A firewall is built into macOS and server, making it easy to block unwanted communications to your server. And VPN access enables your users to take advantage of network services while they're off-site and simultaneously prevent access by unauthorized individuals. Let's take a look at how that works. So to manage firewalls and VPN, you can use the Server Preferences application to both configure and observe what the settings are. I'm going to go ahead and launch Server Preferences. And the first thing I'll do is go to Firewall. So firewall is your basic first level of protection, and by enabling the firewall, you essentially are restricting access to the services that we have listed here uh, from external addresses. And um, so again, you can do that, but sometimes you might want to essentially open some ports inside your firewall. So maybe you have all your ports blocked, but you want to have the remote desktop service being able to kind of cross your firewall, and you can enable that through these checkboxes. Now, another level of protection that you have is a VPN, or virtual private networks. And what this lets you do is, if you have remote clients uh, or remote users that want to access and leverage your server, you can let them VPN in, essentially, into your network. So your network is closed. You have firewall protections around it. Nobody can get to it from the outside. But with VPN, these end users will be able to connect into your network. And to set up VPN, uh, one of the first things you want to do is set up a shared secret. And this shared secret is essentially a passphrase that both the, the remote user and the server uh, know, and they can compare it to make sure that you know, the client is really who they say they are, and, this, and the client knows that this is really the server they want to connect to. Once you've done that, you also need to specify a range of IP addresses. So again, these clients are coming from an outside network, and to be able to join your network, they're going to get an IP address that's within the range of your network, and this is where you specify that range of IPs. And once you've done that, you can enable the VPN service essentially by this off and on switch. Now, if you've set up Leopard Server and you have the auto client set up, one of the things that it does, it enables the VPN service for your clients. But if you're not doing that, you can always go ahead and save the VPN configuration file straight from here and mail that to the end users. They can import that into their VPN software and then we'll be able to remotely access your network. As you can see, macOS 10 Server comes with built-in firewall and VPN services to help protect your server. For more information, please visit apple.com business.